well welcome back to a new video today i want to show you how to add um, calculation objects uh, for this space for example when we talk about horizontal surfaces or vertical surfaces so the first thing is uh, you have we have the calculation objects you need to click on it and then we have a couple of options uh, we stick with the first one so calculation objects and then we have the draw, draw rectangular calculation object so i switch to 2d and let's say i will go on this area i want to know the um, to add an horizontal surface at a height of 0 0.85 and then i want also vertical surface to be added on this vertical uh, uh white white board i think you can see it much better if i go on the construction and i click on it so this is the my surface the vertical surface where i want to add the calculation objects and then horizontal i will create or add a horizontal calculation object so the first option as i said we go 2d we we can do a draw rectangular calculation objects uh, and then I just choose, let's say, the surface, and then it's done. And we can click on the on the surface, actually, and we see the position, and we see also the size. Uh, on the and here you can you can if you want to change the position, so a little bit higher or a little bit lower. You can do it like that, or if you want to adjust the dimensions, left, right, can be can be done easily by changing the the current values from the current fields. So this is the horizontal surface. Um, if you want to add a new one, let's say we go with a small one, just end of this classroom. So here we talk about the classroom. So now we have two horizontal surfaces. If you want to see them already, you'll see here calculation surface three and four. And then, yeah, we have the, the whole one. And if you want to specific C1, after the we run the lighting calculation, we will uh, we'll see the lux level for uh, each of these. Uh, calculation surfaces and let's work on the vertical now this will be a little bit more tricky let's say because you have to rotate so this is not um, pretty fine the best way is to know the size of uh, of the vertical surface i know that i have like two meter width so I'll go like this and then 1.5 meter and then we have the surface we know that needs to be the height one meter and then next step we'll have to rotate it let's say 90 degrees no Minus, we need or I can do it like this uh, yeah here you go needs to be 90 degrees yeah good so now I have it rotated here and I have to face it on the wall and for this, I go again to D and you click move. And now I try to place it over my surface. So I need to drag it a little bit down. And yeah, here we go. Now let's go on to D. It seems that I'm higher I have my object to be calculated so it's here but I'm still down with my 
surface so then let's go higher 1.5 make a little bit higher 1.8 yeah seven i would say yeah it's like almost almost there 72 and good so now we are overlapping from high white board so now we have the all uh, three surfaces this is the vertical one and two horizontal we can see it in the current view what are my calculating objects and here uh, it's good that we see that here it's on the floor so we need to adjust also the height let's place it seven two as well yeah so once again have a double check and then we do want to run the lighting calculation just click on it and then the results is when you use the um, horizontal and vertical surfaces for a um, certain lighting concept you will get the point is to get more accurate um, data or information related to the lux level so that's the importance or let's say usage of uh, of the calculation surfaces and here for example on the first calculation we have the 441 lux then second one and then here we have sorry i just jumped the last one the vertical one we have 461 and of course overall we have 381 so that's what i said use calculation surface where you want to have a great but really accurate um, data related to the lux level for a specific space or specific task area or i don't know if you want to eliminate a painting on the wall or you have a vertical um, surface that you want to know exactly the amount of light that it uh, is the we, we will provide and then you can have also the false colors for each of the surface yeah, you can see it in this case um, so it's very nice you can see the the lux level from one corner middle based on the colors and if you want to change the surface number three you can do the same and also for the other one we can just do it like that or you can do also the value chart so that's that's one way how you do an uh, um, let's say you can add the horizontal and vertical surfaces for one uh, for a specific space just to have a more accurate data related to the lux level another option which i find very useful is this results on surface so if you want to just check let's say this desk and let's say hmm, this cardboard let's we will just discharge and then we just enter so this is much faster let's say you don't need to do the draw um, the calculation surface you can just click on it and then it's selected so this is more or less right when you have a furniture and you want to know how much um, light falls on that uh, furniture you can you will get uh, the result immediately so for this surface clipboard we have like 250 lux and for the second one where you choose this task we have 230 lux so that's results on on the surface so you can do you can use also uh, this option so to say good i hope that um, you find this information useful um, if you find this information useful by the way please give a like don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel 
And until next time, stay tuned and I wish you all the best. Bye bye.